Let me play a catchy little tune for you. So what do you think? Probably not gonna be a big hit, except maybe with my canine friends. This is a dog whistle. It produces frequencies of sound that are too high for humans to hear, and some sounds that we can hear. As I've talked about in other videos, sound is a systematic disturbance, a wave in air molecules. In this animation, notice that the molecules are just going back and forth. Watch that red dot. But the wave does move from left to right. How often the molecules go back and forth is the so-called frequency of the wave. If we speed the animation up, we can see the frequency become about one cycle of motion per second. The cycle per second is the unit of frequency, also called the hertz. So if we could see air molecules, here's what a one hertz sound wave would look like. So right now, I'm going to produce, I'm gonna make, right in front of your very eyes, a one hertz sound wave. That's it. But you can't hear it, and neither can I, because it's too low in frequency. And this dog whistle that I just dropped is too high in frequency. When our ears can detect the frequency of a sound, we refer to that as the pitch of the sound. Pitch is our subjective sense of the frequency of sound waves. Pitch is in our heads. Frequencies out there, pitch is in here. Something similar goes on with our perception of light and color. We perceive different frequencies of light waves as different colors. Color is to light as pitch is to sound. But the range of sound frequencies that we can hear is far, far greater than the range of light frequencies that we can see. When looking at all the colors of the rainbow, from red to violet, the violet light only has twice the frequency of the red light. Sometimes that range, that one doubling of frequency, is called an octave. Human vision spans one octave in frequency. Aha! But human hearing spans 10 octaves! Most people can hear notes as low in pitch as 20 hertz, 20 vibrations per second. But a lot of people, especially children, can hear notes as high as 20,000 hertz, 20,000 vibrations per second. That's 10 doublings in frequency, 2 to the 10th power times higher in pitch. Our hearing range of 10 octaves is 10 times better than our seeing range of 1 octave. There are still natural sounds that are outside of this enormous range. We can't hear the high frequency screech of a bulldog bat or the low frequency bellow of a blue whale. If we could, we'd be in a lot of sonic pain. The threshold of pain for most people is a loudness of 120 decibels. The bulldog bat screeches at 140 decibels and a blue whale bellows at 180 decibels. But how about our own capacity to sing at different frequencies? Most people have no trouble hitting a middle C at 261 hertz. But one or two octaves below and above, that's a challenge. Judging from the range of notes actually recorded in a studio by any one famous singer, the human range is, at best, five to six octaves. You might think it's Mariah Carey, but she's number two to Axl Rose. Of all the instruments that you might find in a classic symphony orchestra, the piano has the greatest range of a little over seven octaves. Among classes of instruments, the flute family has the greatest range, from the highs of the piccolo flute to the lows of the hyper bass flute. Step aside, Nicki Minaj's super bass. The hyper bass flute is gonna kick your bass. And at the upper range of frequencies, let's not forget the hyper piccolo, the dog whistle. See the universe through a brand new set of eyes.